Hey guys, it's Rindy. I am here today with my September update for the Child of the 80s project pan. So let me show you the products that I still had in here and then we are gonna spin for one new item, so that is exciting. But the first thing in here still is my California Vidana. This has been in here from the get-go, but it is moving along nicely. We're like almost halfway now but I have had steady progress over the last little while and I'm now down at this line here, the nice smudge line I stuck my finger in before it was dry, but that is what that is. So I've enjoyed it, I've used it just to use it instead of trying to wait until we're actually gonna be allowed to do something fun. So I've just waltzed around my house, taken the kids to sports and bought school supplies, smelling like California by Dana, and it's fabulous. So the next thing that has also been in here from the get-go, and these first, what, four products I think have, is my Milk Makeup Cream Blush. This one is down that far. It is sitting right at the edge kind of here of where the screw cap goes on. And it's got a very long way to go. So that one will probably be around well after this project is finished and that's amusing since that was a baby slash mini product but it is what it is the product that i will not be surprised if it goes to the grave with me is my chella brow gel this one has gone from 3.1 grams to 3.057 grams so half a gram this month that is impressive it's been cool enough honestly to wear a full face of makeup so i've been doing that but i haven't been doing makeup over the summer much because i would just sweat it off so this is getting some progress and maybe just maybe i'll actually get through it but yet to be determined the next thing my scandinavia setting spray this one i i still don't understand setting spray but it has gone from up here down to here and i've honestly been using it as like a refreshing spray it's been hot August was hot so I would just spray myself down and let it dry to help me cool off so is what it is but this is supposed to be a good setting spray and I still just don't understand setting spray so it's not a step I feel the need for and I don't think I will be replacing this category once we are through it the next is my bite chai lipstick that's what i'm wearing today it looks like this and it has gone from let's see if i can get the glare there's a slight line under the red line down to here and it's hard to mark on this gray packaging but it is making progress and it's making more progress now guys because i learned that bite has finally reformulated their lipsticks that has the bite chai and I'm excited to pick up a new one when this is gone. And I hope that the Bite Chai that has been reformulated to be completely vegan as is as good as this one because I will be so disappointed if it's not. But this one, love the color as well. So we will see, but I'm not terrified to use it up anymore because I do have the ability to replace this again, so. The next thing still in here is my colorful glitter polish and this one has turned into Frank the polish. I have Frank the gloss, meet Frank the polish. I keep putting everything that's at the very end that I can't get out of other polishes into this guy. So I am way back, I marked it, way back up here is where it's reading when I hold it up to the light. I think it's down farther. When I look inside, it seems like it's down farther, but when I hold it up to the light, that's where I can see a distinguished line. So that is what I marked, but yes. So meet Frank the Polish, who may never be gone because it keeps getting all of the remnants of everything else that I have used up. That is what it is. So Frank will be hanging on for a while. So the thing I did get through was my mint and lemon clay mask, this one. It did remind me that I enjoy masking and I just, I need to start doing it again. And I have masks in other projects, full, full size masks that I need to finish up. So hopefully this has made me 
remember and make me want to actually put forth the effort to put a mask on my face because it really did a good things for my skin besides. So get it together, Rindy. You enjoy doing this. That one is gone. Hopefully you will see empties in other projects now of other masks. Then the final thing that's in this project is my no problem primer. And this one has gone from here down to there. So that is good progress. And I have to like go like this to hit it and level it out to get it to come up the pump. So we are making progress. If I stay with this amount, I think two more months, but we'll see if it'll pump out anymore after next update. So that's all the products. I have one empty, so I am spinning for one more product and I did this wheel everybody's talking I did this wheel that's got just the numbers of products that of prompts that I haven't picked yet so that I don't have to like search for the number it'll tell me a number that has not been picked so let me hit to spin it makes fun noises And the number is 10 so I will be right back to let you know what number 10 is and what I've picked all right guys so number 10 is 16 candles and the prompt is a product that makes all your wishes come true so I thought about it there was a few things I was like I have some foundations with SPF in it but I kind I'm trying to do things in this project so I can get through a lot of the prompts throughout this project because it's so much fun so what I decided to go with was in my cover FX face palette and I want to work on the finishing powder so this finishing powder I've really enjoyed it's been great for setting under my eyes it's just like the perfect color for me and on top of that the palette has this awesome mirror I'm going to blind you a minute this awesome mirror so I can actually use it instead of a palette with a little dinky mirror that doesn't do much of anything. So I'm going to work on the finishing powder in this palette and see where I can go with it. You can see it's very close so hopefully it will be done within the next month because I really want to pick more prompts. So that's it. That is the September update for the Child of the 80s project pan. I hope you'll stick around, check out my progress, check out the other fantastic ladies in this collab. And until next time, I will talk to you all later.